As many of you know, in my spare time, I'm a professional woodcarver. And a couple of weeks ago, I got to celebrate one of my favorite days of the year in that respect, and that is the Autumn Leaf Festival Craft Day, when 60, 70,000 of my closest friends show up for a day of shopping, and I get to spend the whole day on Main Street carving. For many years, I simply carved and showed off my wares, took orders. But the last few years, I've accumulated enough inventory to actually do some selling. I was still surprised on Monday morning as I walked through town doing going back to my normal routine, how many people stopped me and asked, how did you do on Friday? Was it a good day? I said, oh, it was a very good day. I sold out of almost everything I brought. You must be thankful. I said, oh, I was very thankful and very grateful. It was much needed at this particular time. But as I paused and thought about it, more during the day. It really wasn't selling out. It really wasn't making money that I was thankful for. It was the opportunity to reconnect, to reconnect with a community that really hasn't fully gathered in this way for a number of years because of the pandemic as we huddled down in our homes. It was reconnecting with people I haven't seen not just during the pandemic, but some of them I haven't seen for years since I went off for bigger and better things. I reconnected with kids that grew up here, graduated and made their way out. I reconnected with fraternity brothers and other students from the university. I reconnected with folks that have moved to other places. I connected with strangers that I'd never met before, or some that remembered me, but unfortunately I didn't remember them. But we reconnected. It was a time of stories that I was so thankful for them sharing, reminiscences of fathers and grandfathers that used to sit around the garage or the back porch whittling. Stories of family. A catching up. Stories of excitement, pending marriages, new births. Stories of tragic events, illness, death the destruction of a home in Florida with a recent hurricane. In all of it, that ability to come together, to share stories and lives, that's, that's why I love that day. And for that, I am internally grateful and thankful. And I think that's really what's behind the story of Jesus and the ten lepers. If you don't know the story, ten lepers come to Jesus for healing. Jesus heals them, sends, their, sends them on their way for their cleansing to be authenticated by the priests. But one of them comes back to offer thanks. Jesus says, didn't I heal ten? Where are the other nine? But then he tells the one, your faith has made you well. Well, didn't he already heal him? What does faith have to do about it? This was one of my favorite, my mother's favorite stories. My mother was obsessed with saying thank you. Not so much for her, but for me. At age 60, she was still reminding me, did you say thank you? Have you sent a card? Did you send a note? And so she loved to tell the story about, you know, you should say thank you. Remember the lepers. But as I remember the lepers, they got healed. They didn't say thank you. They still got healed. 
So what was the big deal? What made the one special? Did he get something extra? I think he did. He got a further healing because he saw, he perceived, his eyes of faith enabled him to see that there was something bigger going on here than just healing. He had been reconnected. You see, leprosy is a very contagious disease. And so people are isolated. We know a little bit about that after the pandemic. And so in their healing, what Jesus does is restore them to community. And that one leper saw that. But he saw even more than that in Jesus, that Jesus was restoring him to something far bigger. He was restoring him to a right relationship with God. In the life, death, and resurrection of Christ, we receive that grace, that reconnection. And for that, we are thankful. For that, we gather together to worship, to give thanks. The church, as it gathers on Sunday morning, gathers around a meal, Holy Communion, the Mass. But the ancient Greek name for that meal was Eucharist, Thanksgiving. For that is why the church gathers, to give thanks for God's grace, for that reconnection with God and with our brothers and sisters in community, to again share our story, to share the story, to reconnect, to share our life, and then be sent out to be a living story of thanksgiving as we continue to reconnect with others, to share the story, to share our lives, to be together once again. It is that reconnection that we give thanks for, on this day and every day, that connection with God and the connection with our neighbors, even those that drive us crazy. It is a sad reminder some days when they are no longer around how much we actually miss them. And so let not another day go by where we do not live in thanksgiving for those that God has given to us in this day and in every day, a reconnection, an opportunity to give thanks. Amen.